May certainly has shown a bit of a, a dramatic shift from the beginning of the year. There was a lot of fear surrounding what was happening in the economy which was justified. And so a number of people put their homes on the market to try and get ahead of that. Uh, however, that didn't really happen. And since January, January, we were almost at five months of supply. Now we're just, we're just under three months. And what's happened is month over month, that, that amount of inventory has eased off. The majority of the sales are occurring under that $500,000 range. We didn't ever really see it shift into a buyer's market. And in fact, that is where the majority of our sales are occurring. And so in May, we're really seeing that significant shift. You'll see, see that really reflected in our May statistics. Sales activity in Calgary continued to remain weak for May levels relative to what we've seen historically in that time frame. However, keep in mind that what has also happened and something that's happened over the last three months is that we're starting to see that level of new listings actually decline. You know, when we look at it relative to sales, it's actually helped prevent any further inventory gains. And in fact, inventory levels actually declined over April levels, which is somewhat unusual as we move into May. Um, when we look at the level of inventories relative to sales, a measure of balance in the market, it moved towards levels that are more consistent with those balanced conditions. And given that we're now more balanced conditions, that helps change and, and contributed to reversing the trend in pricing. Now, they still remain higher than they did last year, but it was interesting that we've had a reversal in that trend and that prices actually improved on a monthly basis this month. Now, that being said, there still are a lot of factors that continue to influence our market that we have to be aware of. Um, you know, if this ec if economic conditions remain weak for a prolonged period of time, this can influence what happens in the inventory levels in the new home market. We have started to see that those levels of inventories are rising, but they're not to levels that we've seen previously. But this is just something to keep in mind. I think if you're a buyer in the $500,000 range and less, if there's something that you love that you walk into, then, then you should buy it. You should take advantage of the interest rates right now. The interest rates are great. And if you see a fabulous home that you love and you plan to live there for a long time, take advantage of that right now. If you're a seller, look at your competition, see what else is out there. You know, set some appropriate expectations of where you should be listing your home. Really listen to your realtor and find out what's happening in your market. Get educated on, on the market conditions in your community.